Hi everyone, it's WGM's MCI here. How are you doing? Welcome you back to my Let's Play of The Last Story and another new menu screen. I, I actually really like this one actually. It shows the, the island moving. In the last episode, we returned back to Lazarus Island and essentially made it move. Like it's showing right here actually. And we also did a little bit of upgrading in between episodes because, yeah, I, I would agree, my, my damage output was bad. <laughs> we also learned a little bit about Yurik's past. Um, so in this episode, hopefully we're going to proceed on. Um, I am actually going to quickly show that I did upgrade quite a bit. I now have the Justice Plus 5, which is pretty good because it has a 10% chance of recovering 50 HP per during a chain, and it has an increased chance of doing chains. So that's pretty good. Um, and I have, I think I have everyone, like my melee characters have Justice plus five. So Red has two Justice plus fives. So I am pretty decked out at the minute. And Yurik uh, got the Memento Dagger upgrade a little bit. And uh, Morania and Lowell have the Enchanter plus five, which is 10% chance of recovering. 10% HP when attacking, which doesn't sound that good, but it is a better dagger for them, slash sword, so, and I guess if I had Lowell use Berserker, he would attack, so there is that opportunity there. So yeah, I, I've, I've been upgrading, <laughs> let's just put it that way. For now though, I'm actually going to talk to you. What are we going to do? Something the matter? That would be putting it lightly. Tell me what happened. Well, I shouldn't really discuss it out in the open. Could you talk to my colleagues in the castle depths? They'll tell you all about it. Okay, I'll be right there. You can get there from the courtyard if you didn't know. So as I said, this was actually for chapter 25, which we're not gonna do, but just want to hey, activate it, I guess. For now, though, we go out here. Who are you? Who sent you? Answer me! I'm just gonna have to beat it out of you. Who are you? You're gonna help me? We have to finish this first, but then I want some answers. Yeah, I'm doing a f over a thousand points of damage per hit. Why is this happening? Why are you after me? Who sent you? Think I'll talk. No! Alright, so now we need to go to the lookout point. I don't know where the lookout... Oh, the, the lookout point upstairs. Yes, I know where that is. Sotherius is at the lookout point. Don't keep your superiors waiting. <sighs> this expedition's gonna take. How do they expect us to finish these repairs in only three days? Some people just have no grip on reality. Oh, hey there! You want me to improve all that shiny equipment you've got? 
Leave it to me. I won't charge much. Oh, he upgrades stuff. Sweet. Anyway, if we head down here. Well? Learning the island can move was a shock. What, you're not scared, are you? What a sight your face makes! <laughs> well, have you managed to increase the firepower? Just you watch. All it needs is an artisan's touch. That laugh, though, that was a that was a noble laugh. If I've ever heard a noble laugh. I'm always working down here. I bet they do as they please at the lookout point. A lot of mysteries locked up on this island. How it moves, being one of them. Yeah, it sounds like everyone's just really surprised about how this island can move, essentially. Let's go to the lookout point. How is it? The feeling of having your very own island. What are you talking about? I don't own the island. With that power, you are capable of moving the entire island as you see fit. If that is not ownership, then what is? I'm not going to use this power for my own gain. Hmm. <laughs> Just remember this. The fate of many lives will depend upon how you decide to use that power. Those who bear power must also accept the responsibility that comes with it. Responsibility. Oh. Watch. Oh, it's just a scene cutscene, I think. Still looks cool, though. Gotta admit, that does look really, really cool. Um... Let's go to the military wing. Isn't that... General Astor and... Morania? Oh, you can, okay. Oh, Zale. What are you doing here? You first. What were you and the General talking about? Oh, uh, nothing. Just talking about the world. Travelling. Hmm. Oh, Zale. What are you doing here? Oh, just the same thing. So right now, we're actually going to go back to... We're going to go back to town. I'm going to go back to Aurelia's Tavern. Because there's a few extra scenes here. General Osir is worried about you. Levy is in the courtyard. Please see him and put his mind at ease.
Let's go. So back in early Ariel's tavern. Hopefully this is here. Seren and Lowell are upstairs. They both look kind of glum. Maybe you should talk to them? Indeed, let's do it. That's Serena Marinius Marinius room, so let's go to talk to Lowell first. Hey Lowell. Ah, oh, Zeal, something the matter? I could ask you the same. It's not like you to be standing around thinking. I'm allowed to have one or two worries of my own. I see. And there's me thinking it was the same old girl trouble. <laughs> you're getting a sharp tongue these days. It's good. But you're way off the mark. I was thinking about the past, you know? You've never really said much about your past. Are you okay to talk about it? It's fine with me. Just might take a while is all. There was this girl I was seeing way back when. We were going to make a real go of it. This is a long time before I met you guys. Really? You were in a serious relationship? Aye, uh, but things didn't exactly go according to plan. We got attacked by a gang of thugs one day and uh, they killed her. I was broken, you know? Could hardly go on. But eventually, I picked up the pieces and found myself a new girl. And trust me, I was terrified. Kept having nightmares about losing her as well. And she, she caught a disease that was going around and, and died, just like that. They weren't the only ones. Every girl I've been out with since then has died on me. It's my living hell. I know this doesn't make me sound like the manliest of men, but I'm still scared. I don't want to fall in love. And I don't want anyone to fall in love with me. So I figured the way to be happy is to be a bit of a playboy instead. Nothing deep. Nothing serious. And that brings us up to date. That sounds horrible. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say a thing. You listened. That's more than enough. The only question is... Nah. Let's not go down that road, huh? We're blokes. We don't need to talk about all this touchy-feely stuff. <laughs> I suppose not. Sorry to put you through such a depressing story. Glad I got it off my chest, though. Guess it's not all bad, having a proper man-to-man -man chat every now and again. Anyway, I'm off into town. Said I'd be somewhere. Don't be out too late. What? You my mother now? Last I checked, I'm still older than you. <laughs> then I suppose you can stay out as long as you want. Have a good time. I will. Really interesting, like, that that kind of feeling, but I will say this to Lowell. It's okay for guys to talk about touchy-feely stuff, and I know this very well because I, I very much am a person that wears his heart on his sleeve, so I do think it's okay for guys to talk about stuff like that. Anyway, here's Seren. Let's talk to her. Oi! This is my drink. You're not having any. You think I want to be like you, lying in bed until noon with a hangover. It can't be doing you any good. Shut up. Why are you here anyway? This is a girl's room for girls. Are you trying to get a sneaky peek? Fancy me or something? Of course not. I know Lol's the only one for you. 
How dare you mention that juvenile, skirt-chasing, womanising, good-for-nothing bastard? That's a little harsh. A little? <laughs> Let's talk about Lowell. You really think so? I do. Lowell's been very thoughtful lately. I think that includes the idea of you and him. So why is he sending you to defend him? He's a man. You tell him he needs to man up and talk to me himself. Uh, Seren. When they destroyed my homeland, the men were the first to turn tail and run. We had a lot of women in our army. Maybe it's because we had a queen in charge, I don't know. Anyway, I was one of them, fighting for my home. Of course, they got me eventually. Except I survived. When I came to, it was gone. All of it. You always expect to cry if anything like that ever happens. But I didn't shed one tear. I guess it's because I didn't have to watch it all get blown to rubble. But if you don't cry, you never get over it. No grit in your teeth and moving on. That is a very good point. I like that line. I never saw it happen, so it's never felt real to me. That's the worst part. And it haunts me to this day. I can't forgive myself for being so weak. And I'll never forgive those cowardly, spineless bastards for running away. I hate men. They always talk big, promising you everything. But when there's a hint of trouble, they're off like a shot. Uh, that is true for some men, yes. I, uh, you know... I have seen some guys that just run off, like, under the slightest tent of trouble. Seren, we all... I know. I know. You think I'd be part of your gang if I thought you were like that? If anyone's in trouble, it's Zayl to the rescue. Not just me. We all look out for each other. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So... Did Lowell say anything else about me? No, not really. Alright then. <sighs> I'm tired. Maybe I'll have a quick bath before I turn in. Sorry, Zael, I didn't mean to make you listen to all my whining. And thank you. I think what Zeal's was about to say there was like we all aren't like that which is very true like all men like you know some some women do have very negative experiences with a men a moving island yet the destruction of the land goes on what secrets is this island still hiding so you know i'm not here to defend men i'm just saying that some situations just happen and some situations are really crap and that's putting up nicely <laughs> to be frank <clears throat> and some men are just total assholes and some women are total assholes too <laughs> but yeah that's just a little insight into Lowell and Seren's past definitely makes you think about stuff like that So we're just heading back now to Lazulus Castle. Yes, yes, we know. General Oster is surrounded by us. Let's go to the courtyard. Even in a strong. Oh, it's 
blowing a gale. It's positively ruining my hair. It would, now that the island is moving. The salt can't be too good either. Oh, nobles and nobility. Let's talk to General Astar. Good day, Master Zale. Finally on the path to becoming a knight, I see. Hmm? You seem rather down. What's wrong? I... Ah, you're worried about Lady Callista. Can't say I blame you, lad. I can't help but think that I made the wrong decision. Then perhaps you ought to forget the Fair Maiden and escape the island. No. I couldn't do that. Never. <laughs> then you have nothing to fear. Simply follow the path you believe in. The path I believe in? First, just concentrate on becoming a knight. Accomplish that, and it's not unreasonable to assume you'll have the Count's ear. General Astar, please will you take me as your pupil? What? Right now, I have no idea what I should do to become a true knight. So please, would you train me? You ought to know. I am extremely strict with my pupils. Are you sure about this? Yes, sir. I'm prepared to do anything it takes. Then it is decided. In this castle, there is a place where we can see if you have the potential to become a knight. However, so many lost their lives that it became forbidden to even go there. Want to try it? Let's accept the challenge. I accept the challenge. I admire your resolve. Let's be off then. A forbidden tower, built to train the elite knights of Lazulis Island, but abandoned due to the brutality practiced within. Zale headed to that tower, together with General Astar. Chapter 23, Tower of Trials. I believe Sotherius is the only soul to have braved this tower in decades. Zale, it is time. Steal yourself for the challenge ahead. By my honor, I shall do my best. All right. We're actually going to have a little bit of a shorter episode this time around because this is going to be quite a long, or this is going to be quite a long trial. So, with that being said, folks, if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to give it a like, and also don't forget to subscribe to become part of my community where we spit fun and positivity for all. And in the next episode, we're going to take on the trial. So, with that being said, folks, I will, of course, see you again.